everyone, welcome back to my channel. Tonight we are going to do the bedtime routine with the two kids this time, so we'll see how it goes. First things first, what I do is I get prepared before I even get the kids upstairs. So I have Lachlan's outfit here, so he has a fresh nappy obviously, fresh vest and fresh baby girl all ready to go where I'll be changing him. And then Isla has, she's still in a nappy at night time, she's dry all day, but just we haven't quite cracked night time yet, so she has a nappy in her jammies. And I leave them there, along with her milk that I've already looked at as well. So yeah, we are going to be doing bath time now, and we are doing it in conjunction with Jobsons, because we are doing their Tonight We Sleep Challenge, which is a seven day challenge, just seeing whether using their products and using their three step method, which is warm bath, massage, and quiet time and see if it helps improve their sleep. I'm gonna go run the bath and then go get the kids. I always know what temperature is best for them. It's kind of that little bit cooler than what's good for us. And we are going to be using the Johnson's Bedtime Baby Bath, which smells so, so, so good for the actual bath. So it'll be going in there. And then this bad boy is just for giving them a big wash. Towels are on the side ready as well. I find that just having everything ready to go is key for making bedtime success. Another thing I do in preparation for quiet time is I turn off the lights in the nursery where Isla's still sleeping at the moment just so that she associates it with bedtime and sleep time and Lachlan is still in our room in the bedside crib so I pop the fairy lights on and keep the lights off for him so again there's some association there for them. They also don't come back downstairs after they've been up. Well Lachlan does, Lachlan comes down to feed but Isla doesn't come back downstairs because otherwise she just gets excited again. It's just something we've always done, it's like quiet time's up here and then into bed for stories so that's what we do. It's bath time, Isla Amelia. You going up the stairs? Quick, quick. Mr. Lachlan, you're having a bath too. How exciting. Come on, sausage. You can get undressed, please. So what I tend to do is get the toddler undressed and in the bath first. So now that Isla's through in the bath, I'm not very happy with herself tonight, we're going to get you undressed and get you in as well, aren't we? Yeah. I'm also going to put these two out just for after bath, so for Lachlan's little massage and sort of a bit of moisturising. So we've got the bedtime baby oil and the bedtime baby lotion, which both smell lovely. So I'm just going to keep them there. Bath time for Mr. Lachlan. Hi, I am. <laughs> what, darling? Oh, oh. Are you splashing? Yeah. Are you going to get some toys out? Yeah. yeah! So what I tend to do is I wash Lachlan first so he's all sorted then I get him out and then I come back and wash Isla. Because usually we have a bath spore thing but we've left that in Scotland so we don't have it. So I'm having to do things a bit one hand at the moment, do not I? Oh, thank you, Anna. I wash him. Oh, I'm washing him. The Johnson's Bedtime Baby Wash has a relaxing natural calm aroma which is hopefully meant to help them fall asleep. Hey, what do you think? So you're all washed, or should we give your hair he's a little washed as well? Yeah. Okay. Okay, bye, so all washed, so I'm going to get him out of the bath and dried, and then come back for you, Miss Isla. Isla likes to wash yourself, so you can have some in your hands. One, two, and we get washed. What's Isla up to? What are you up to? Let's get you dry. Isla's skin is a little bit dry at the moment, so we're going to try out the Johnson's Bedtime Baby Cream and see if it helps. This is the cream here. It's a really nice consistency and it smells lovely. So hopefully it helps your skin. Oh, and her spots are from chicken pox. She's not, um, not got any sort of skin problems there. It's just chicken pox, isn't it? It's the end of it. <laughs> Pardon me? Oh, chat, you've got dry leggies. Now Isla's in her jammies and she's having some milk while I get this noisy sausage over here done for a massage, yeah? You're gonna sit in your chair and wait? So Isla's apparently gonna sit here and read her book while I get you massaged little sausage. Lachlan's also been a little bit dry recently, so we're going to pop some of this on his arms. So Isla's having a bit of a fuss about brushing your teeth. Now brush your teeth, please. Oh, wow, okay, never mind. So now I'm going to do Isla's stories to a fussy Isla while Lachlan's fussing through there, but yeah, that's real life, eh? Real life, good fun and games. 
So Ida's going to choose a story, we're going to read that and that's going to be her quiet time, she's going to go down, then I'm going to go feed Lachlan and get him down as well. And then I might have a nice cup of tea. Yes. Oh, poo wee, poo wee. There is also an app you can use which is pretty handy. You need to find it in all my app. And you can log your children on there and there's things like your bedtime routine and the actual challenge if you're doing the challenge, which I am. I don't know why it's not logged on there. There we go. Sleep log, lullaby sound, sleep analysis, all sorts. So it's really helpful for keeping on track and making sure you know what you're doing with your new routine. All in all, the Johnson's Nightly Sleep Challenge has worked very well for us. Their three-step method, sorry I'm being a bit quiet because the kids are asleep, their three-step method has worked a treat on both of my kids. Well, to be honest, Isla's always been a very good sleeper, and she still is, but it's just nice to know that she's enjoying the same sort of thing Lachlan is before he goes to sleep. But he's been a bit of a nightmare since day one, and getting into this routine's really, like, kicked me up the bum and made me realise how important routines are for a lot of kids. Not all kids, it doesn't work for everyone, but yeah, particularly I think the quiet time works very, very well. That's that's that kind of shut off period when they know that bedtime is coming and they just have to accept it and get on with it. Um, warm bath, everybody loves the warm bath and then the massage is quite hard to fit in every night but it does make a difference so it's just trying to get it fitted in. The thing I've liked the most about the challenge is how amazing they smell. The Johnson's Bedtime Baby stuff it smells so good. I feel like I want to go over bath in it now. But anyway, that's about it from me so thank you very much for watching and hope you've enjoyed this and we'll see you very soon. Bye!